In this video, I will show you the Evernote calendar. This is a powerful tool because it has two-way sync with both Google Calendar and Outlook Calendar. We're used to using both of these. And so having this two-way sync makes it a powerful tool for managing your day-to-day -day commitments. Welcome to Evernote Simplified. This is video seven of this 15 video series. I am excited to invite you in as we walk through the pieces and parts of this powerful and sometimes underestimated product. Let's get into it. Well, here we are, we're on the Evernote calendar and I'm going to first walk you through what the what's you're seeing on the screen and then we're going to get into using it. So the first thing is there are two ways to open the calendar. One is if you have the calendar sidebar app open right here on the sidebar. If you click it it'll take you to the calendar. The second is from the Evernote home screen. You see I have the calendar here and I can expand the view directly to get into the calendar. So two ways to get into it, you now know. Let's talk about what you're seeing on the screen. I'm going to collapse the sidebar because we don't need it for this. Right here in the upper left is a month view of the calendar. So you see January 2025 and then the month of January. Beneath that are the calendars that you have in your existing account, in your Evernote account. One is the Evernote calendar that's built in. But then you can add additional calendars. In my case, I have Google, a Google Calendar added, and then I have multiple calendars within that main calendar. I can turn these on or off just by clicking the button. For this purpose, I'm going to leave them turned on for now. Also, attached to the Google Calendar is U.S. Holidays. If I want them to show up, I turn, click it on. If I don't want them to show up, I click it off. You can also add, if you look down here, you can also add an Outlook calendar. I don't run Outlook, so I don't have a way to show that to you, but just it works very similar. Here in the center is the calendar itself, but in the top bar is an image of a calendar or an icon of a calendar and the word new event. We're going to come back to that. To the right is a purple checkbox. That's adding a task to the calendar. To the right of that is how you can change the views. It's the picker to change the views. I'm on the day view, just a single day. I can also change it to the week view so I can see the entire week. I can change it to the month view and see the entire month. And I can change it to the schedule view and see a schedule view. I'm going to put it back on the week view for right now. To the right of the view picker is the overflow, the three dots. And you'll see the accounts, whether you want to show weekends, if you want to add an account, if you want to configure the calendar settings and what day of the week you want your calendar to start on. Most people pick either Monday or Sunday. I choose Sunday. Let's go into the calendar settings next. Here we are in the calendar settings. These settings I've shown before in an earlier video where we discuss customizing your Evernote account. You can have pre-formatted notes created from events. If you click the little eye, it says, when selected, a template with sections for action items and notes will be automatically added. If you toggle it on, 
it'll put that in. If you toggle it off, it won't. You can set reminders. If you click the drop down, you turn it on, you either desktop on or mobile on or both, or neither one or both. Once you turn these toggles on, you can use the drop down and choose how far in advance or at the start time or after. So I want to say 10 minutes before my event by the default. I want it to pop up on the desktop. Remind me to open notes is another option. You can have that get that reminder as well. Let's turn it on on the desktop. You can also disconnect from an existing calendar. But we're just going to leave this these settings the way they are and click done. Now, let's talk about the type of events. Remember I said at the beginning, Evernote has two-way sync between its, at the Evernote account and Google Calendar in my case. And I want to create an event on the calendar that is not going to Google and it's only in the Evernote calendar. So I go up here and I at the top, right, I click new event. I fill in a name. I'm going to say I'm going to watch the Ravens game tonight. And that's going to be tonight. And it's I'm going to pick the time. And let's say I'm going to start at 6, 6.15. I'm trying to get this. 6.15. And the game, since it starts at 6.30, let's say I'm going to, it's probably going to go to about 9.30. Okay? And I want to put it on my events in Google. So I click the drop down to select the calendar and I chose the Evernote calendar and not one of my Google calendars. And I'm gonna click create. I now have this Watch the Ravens game on my Evernote calendar and it is not in my Google calendar. That's one type of event. Let's move on to others. Now, my, my friend on the YouTube channel, Ravens Talk with Yolanda, will probably do a post-game show. So I want to watch that. So I'm going to put in tonight, I'm going to watch post-game with Ravens Talk with Yolanda. And you got to be able to type. And let's say that's going to be tonight at 10 p.m. till 11. But this one, I'm going to add it to my Google account. So I'm going to pick the My Appointments. That is my Google account. Create the event. You see the pop-up, it says... It's been created. Look at the difference. The event that was solely on the Google, on the Evernote account, is green because it's that's the color for the Evernote account. But the one here, the post game, is blue because blue is the Google account. What I've done is created an event that's solely in Evernote and an event that is also synced to my Google account. The beauty is I have not needed to switch over to Google to add an event to the calendar. I simply did it right here in Evernote. The beauty also is a secondary is I can do this whether I'm on my phone or whether I'm on the browser or whether I'm on the desktop app or whether I'm on my iPad. No longer going logging into Google to put an event on my Google calendar I just do it right from Evernote since I'm in Evernote every day anyway, right? Let's move on. And now we're going to talk about, well, now that I've got this stuff in, the, in Evernote, what is the value? And the value happens to do with you can add a note to an event and you can document notes, preparation, and other things 
for that event. So let's do that, and I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, so I have this ISI Virtual Summit kickoff on my calendar for Wednesday. And if you notice right here, there's an icon of a sheet of paper. If I, when I, not if, when I click that icon, Evernote creates a note and it attaches that note to that event. So here is the event, the date, and the time, and there's all it is because I turned off the feature to pre-format a note. But let's say I'm kicking off my event and I want to just drag in a couple of pictures that I want to have available. Promote, promote the speakers. And I'm going to drag in this one. And I'm going to drag in this one. And I'm going to drag in this one. So I want to drag in all of these, these images that, I've cre that have been created for the summit. This is going to remind me of where those images are. Now, do I have other images? Yes, but this is an example of what I can do. I can also add... I can also add some task. And I want to, my task is going to be uh, confirm um, YouTube post scheduled. And I want to do that by the 21st so that I don't forget. So I can add task. I can add images, I can add text, I can add links to other events. That is the beauty. Now, why do I care? When I go back to my calendar, if I didn't remember what I did, I can come back to this calendar event. That icon is now solid, which tells me that there is an attached note. If I click on that note, Regardless of which notebook or space that note is in, clicking that icon brings me directly to that note. So that is the power because I can attach information that I need directly to a note. But let's go on to the next reason you would do this. Okay, so I'm going to document some meeting notes, and I want to capture those, but I've just got a blank note here. The way I insert that meeting is go to Insert, go to Calendar Event, navigate to the calendar event. Let's say it's this post game, and I'm going to insert it. It puts that it links the calendar event and the note together. And as I'm learning more about football in this case, I'm going to just capture my thoughts, my takeaways, what I've learned right here in this note. So that is the beauty of it. But let's go back one more time and do one other thing. You've seen me create, you've seen me create notes that aren't pre-formatted when I link them. Let's say I want to create a note that is formatted. I click the note icon, and now it gives me the name of the event, the date, but it also gives me additional information inside the note. It gives me action items, and it starts a to-do list, and then it start, gives me notes and starts bullet points. I can now change these headers if I want them to be larger, I can format them, and they are attached to that event. But let's say I want to include the calendar event for the post game in the same note. So I'm going to insert it. Now I have two events in the same note that link back to two different calendar events. 
Let me go to the calendar and show you something here. We've got these no events that are got notes attached to them. This one here, post game with Ravens talk with Yolanda, has the icon is now not a single solid note icon. It is a double solid note icon, indicating that I have multiple notes attached to this same event. When I click on it, I can choose which event, which note I want to go to. So I want to go back to this meeting notes, right? Or I want to go back to the one that says watch the Ravens game, the note that says watch the Ravens game, and it has both of those calendar events attached to it. A lot of power. If you think about using this feature working with a client, you want to just keep a log of all of your meetings. For example, in my case, I coach, I do coaching on productivity and I do consultation on Evernote. So if you go to Evernote, uh, to FlorenceDonald.live, you can book an appointment with me there. And I want to keep track of each of the sessions I've had with a client. I don't need to create a separate page or a separate note for each of those sessions. I can simply stack them into one note and have a running log of the times that we've met, what we covered, what we agreed to do, and then track whether that those items got taken care of or got done or completed. That is power and it removes having your notes about work, your to-dos, and other information, graphics, audio, all of the things, all of the different types of information you can put in Evernote in two or three or four different applications. Very efficient, very productive, keeps you from having to find information in multiple places, right? So that is real simple, the Evernote calendar that you can use anytime you choose to. I am so excited that you came along with me on this journey. And I would love for you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed. Again, we're talking about Evernote Simplified. I'm dropping 15 videos over the next few weeks to get through this core of what Evernote is about. I do want to remind you, this video is not sponsored, nor am I an Evernote affiliate. I have just been an Evernote user since 2008. And hey, so are you enjoying these videos? Great. I'm going to encourage you to watch the next one that's going to pop up right here that the algorithm is going to show you, and I'll see you over there. It'll be a good one. See you there.